Hi there. Good greetings. Haha, you don't love me about Rivka Chura. What to do? I love them so much. See ya. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of haze, little bit of change. Watch the craze. Keep it sane. Don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Hello there, people. Welcome to my channel. So in today's vlog, I'm going to show you some stupid shit that I do every day out of which uh, some are technically correct while others are just a way to keep my subconscious mind calm. Apart from that, I'm going to tell you about the basics of clutchless upshifting and rev matching while downshifting, which will be followed by a demonstration. So pull up your pants and get ready to learn some cool stuff today. So first things first, let me show you all the rituals that I perform every day before riding out of my garage. So here is point number one. When I start up my bike in the morning for the first time, I just crank up the engine and leave it to idle for a minute or so. It helps in rotating the engine all properly and uh, brings the engine up to an optimum temperature. See I told you, lubrication is very important everywhere. After that is done, you will be ready to roll. But that doesn't mean you start revving her like a bitch straight away, bro. Take it easy. Point number two. I check this fuel knob every day whether it's uh, on or not. Third is uh, this engine oil cap that I check every day. And lastly, I check this pipe every day. Uh, which is a connected to the coolant reservoir once this pipe got stuck here in between and the engine started overheating so from then on I check it every day okay enough of blabbering now let's now learn about how to do a clutchless upshift and how to rev match while downshifting so let me just get out in the open first meanwhile let me just answer the questions that must be crossing your mind now. The answer is no. Clutchless upshifts doesn't harm your engine or your clutch plates if you do it properly. Even though I don't do it every day or every time, uh, I only do it when I want to make her a reverie bitch. But this, time, uh, this thing needs your full concentration and you can't do it with a subconscious mind. Now back to the basics. It is not recommended to do a clutchless upshift when you are shifting from first gear to second gear. Now why is that? Don't ask. Just don't do it. You'll end up screwing up your gearbox. You can start doing your clutchless upshifts from second gear onwards. So this is how you can do a clutchless upshift. First let me show you how to operate your gear lever while attempting a clutchless upshift. Okay, so uh, now I'm in second gear and I want to shift to third. Remember that you have to rev up the engine at least up to 5k RPM to do a smooth clutchless upshift. So here's the thing. Keep revving in the second gear and simultaneously maintain some pressure in the upward direction on the gear lever with your boot. Then you need to blip the throttle for the gear to engage. The moment you blip, the gear will engage automatically due to the upward pressure that you were maintaining till now. Then you have to put the gas back on once the gear engage. So this entire procedure of blipping the throttle, engaging the gear and putting the gas back on has to take place within a second. You have to be quick. Accelerate plus pressure on the lever, blip. The gear engages, accelerate again. Now let me quickly give you a demo. See how I do it. So now I'm in first gear, accelerating, change to second, uh, accelerating till 6k rpm, blip, shift, accelerate. See again, blip, shift, accelerate. So that's how you do it. It doesn't harm the clutch plate if you do it properly. But I would suggest you to pra practice it only when you have an open stretch of tarmac in front of you. So that you can concentrate on synchronizing your gear shifts with your throttle blipping. So now moving on to rev matching. 
let me first tell you what is rev matching so when you downshift on a bike there is a kind of abrupt jerk that you encounter it's like that's because your engine and your transmission are not running in the same speed or you can say the speed of your engine and the speed of your rear wheel rear wheel are not in synchronization in other words uh, rev matching is a way to slow down in a smoother fashion without any jerks uh, using your engine to brake now rev matching goes like this what you have to do is close the clutch blip the throttle so that the revs climb up a little bit cause you must have observed this that uh, when you downshift without blipping the throttle what happens is the revs drop down first and then they suddenly climb up when you leave the clutch which gives you that jerky feel so in order to avoid that what you do is you close the throttle hold the clutch and change the gear and blip the throttle and then open the clutch so this blipping of your throttle and engagement of your clutch should take place simultaneously here also you have to be quick you have to blip the throttle and simultaneously engage the clutch at the same time so that you end up doing a perfect rev match so let me show you how to do it so here i am shifting from first to second second to third third to fourth now watch carefully i'm going to rev match the gears as i downshift them see did you observe that the revs didn't drop or climb abruptly and they maintained a smooth transition instead yeah so that's rev matching for you guys so if you practice this to perfection it will make you that much better rider and will make you stay that much safer on the road see the most common mistake that we do while braking in panic situation is pull in the clutch that kind of cuts off the transmission from the engine and doesn't let the engine break on its own um uh, second thing that we do wrong is we just jam the rear brakes while the clutch is not engaged which ultimately leads to locking up of your rear wheel and you ultimately end up in a bad situation so in order to avoid that you need to learn how to rev match your gears while downshifting once you master this art of rev matching your hands will get adjusted on the clutch and throttle in such good way that you will be able to control your bike in a much better way out of some tight nerve wracking situations now rev matching also helps you a lot while you are going downhill or you are trying to climb up how if suppose you are going too fast down the hill and you wanna quickly shed some speed just rev match and bang down one or two gears and you will be all prepped up to enter the corner in a controllable speed rev matching even helped me in some of those really tight hairpin bends in lavasa where you almost get stuck in between the corner because of the steepness of the hairpin bend just a small tip do all your braking and downshifting way before entering the corner yeah yeah i know you know that and ha huh, no need to do all this rev matching shit if you have a slipper clutch in your bike just bang down the gears and the slipper clutch will take care of the rest okay so that was the second topic that i wanted to discuss now comes the topic number 3 which is how to avoid target fixation baba ab sab aaj hi bata do kya agli video mein kya karunga fir so let's save that topic for the next video let me do some r&d on that and i'll get back to you with a jump for video until then calm your tits down okay then here is info clone signing off until next time ciao